All right, what's up, everybody? Brian here, and this is my WrestleMania 34 review uh, for tonight's event. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, my overall thoughts on tonight's event was that near the beginning, I thought it was there were some good moments about this event tonight, but there all there was also some maybe one specific bad moment for this uh, event tonight, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, I'm not going to go into specific, any specific order. Um, we're going to, we kicked off with the kickoff show, which saw Cedric Alexander uh, defeat Mustafa Ali in, a, in the finals of the Cruiserweight title tournament uh, to become the new champion. Uh, so a big victory for Cedric Alexander in a match that I thought was actually pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was a very good uh, cruiserweight matchup. So hats off to both of them. Um, we saw Matt Hardy with the help of Ray Wyatt uh, win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We saw Naomi um, win the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Um, on the main show, um, I'm actually wearing a Ronda Rousey t-shirt. She's her and Kurt Angle won tonight at WrestleMania, defeating Triple H and Stephanie McMahon in that mixed tag team match when she made Stephanie tap out to that on bar, on breaker uh, submission move of hers. Um, I was very impressed with Ronda Rousey's performance in this matchup. I thought they I thought she did a great job. Um you know, she, you know, she, this had, had been her dream, and she was very impressive. I have to, you know, she was really uh, impressive in this matchup, so, and so was Stephanie McMahon. Nothing, can't take nothing away from her. You know, she hung in there, you know, and she, you know, she, she gave to, she gave it to Ronda Rousey in a little bit. But uh, Ronda Rousey was the. I was very impressed with her this, with her performance in this matchup, um, as her and Kurt Angle picked up the win in, in that mixed tag. Uh, we had Seth Rollins uh, become the new Intercontinental Champion as he defeated The Miz and Finn Balor in a match that I thought was actually very, very incredible uh, triple threat match. Uh, this is one match that I think. People should check out if you're going to uh, check out WrestleMania. Uh, this is one match that I, I would recommend checking out because I thought it was a pretty good match. Um, we we saw um, another streak come to an end in New Orleans um, as Asuka is no longer undefeated. Her streak came to an end at the hands of Charlotte Flair who retained her SmackDown Women's title, making Asuka tap out to the figure eight and retaining her SmackDown Women's title. In my opinion, I thought one of two things was going to... I thought one of two things was going to happen. I thought then Asuka was going to win this one, or I thought that Carmella was going to cash in her money in the bank, but obviously neither one of those two things happened, so... A big congratulations go out to Charlotte Flair on conquering the streak of Asuka. Um, in a mat and and the match was not bad, not that bad. I thought it was pretty good. I you know I didn't see nothing bad of it, but you know I thought Asuka was going to win, but that's just my opinion. Um, we saw the return of the Undertaker finally. Um, as John Cena got his match against The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and Undertaker won with the Tombstone Power Driver. Nothing really special in this matchup. Um, he defeated John Cena in, in a quick matchup, in a quick match. So, Undertaker defeats John Cena at WrestleMania. So, that's hopefully that puts an end to that. Um, we saw the Bludgeon Brothers um, win the SmackDown Tag Team titles um, over 
Undertaker against the Usos in the New Day in a triple threat match. Um, the match was okay. Um, nothing really special. The Bludgeon Brothers uh, used a top rope sit down power bomb on Kofi Kingston. Uh, Luke Harper actually hit that move, and that's what um, gave them the win to become new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Um, Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan defeated Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, and Daniel Bryan's return uh, to the w to a WWE ring in two in two years. Or, uh, and the match was okay. The match was was all right. Um, they did. Uh, sh uh, sh Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens attacked Shane and Daniel Bryan at the beginning of the before the match even began, and. Uh, Owens hit a po uh, power bomb on Daniel Bryan to the ring apron, like he did a few weeks ago on SmackDown. Um, but in the end, it was uh, Sami Zayn who would tap out to Daniel Bryan's yes lock that would uh, capture the victory for Sami Zayn and, and, Dan and or for Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. So that means that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens remained fired. From SmackDown Live. Um, what else? Um, we had Nia Jax uh, defeat Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Title. Um, so a big congratulations to lots of Nia Jax. Um, I think she deserved it. She deserved this win tonight. Um, the match was was. Was not it, it was not an amazing match, but it was it was okay. Uh, she won. Nia Jax won with a middle rope um, uh, Samoan drop, and that's what finished off Alexa Bliss, and that's what gave Nia Jax the victory in the Raw Women's Title. Um, one of the most, in my opinion, I thought this the the one match that I thought was actually a joke. Um, was the Bar uh, defending the Raw Tag Team Titles against Braun Strowman and a mystery partner? And we, I think, people thought it was going to be a it was going to be somebody in the in the locker room area or some surprise. Here it turned out to be a ten year old a a, a kid from the audience. That's right, a kid from the audience. Now I don't know if the kid was just was if this is actually a um, if it was actually a legitimate fan or if it was just if it was planned or or something along those lines. But um, Braun Strowman at the be near the beginning of, or before the match began said my partner's that his partner is not a uh, someone backstage in the locker room. It's going to be one of the the fans in the crowd in New Orleans, and he went through the crowd, looked around, and said, you, come on, and the kid's, the kid's name was Nicholas, and he became Braun's tag team partner, and they won, because Braun Strowman hit a running power, hit a power slam on, on, um, uh, Cesaro, and that's what happened. We have a new, we have new Raw Tag Team Champions in Braun Strowman and a kid named Nicholas. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow night on Raw with this situation. Um, what's going to happen with that? So um, and let's see what else we had. Um, AJ Styles. Uh, successfully defended um, the WWE Championship uh, against Shinsuke Nakamura in what was a fantastic matchup, in my opinion. Uh, however, after the match was a really surprising uh, turn of events, in my opinion. Uh, Nakamura, uh, you know, hugged AJ Styles. He he presented Styles with the championship got on his knees and presented the title to Styles, and then would hit a low blow on AJ Styles, and the crowd was shocked, 
I was shocked watching it. Why? I mean, obviously, I mean, is this a way to continue this feud? Is this a way to continue this story? Uh, but, you know, he would attack Styles after that. He would beat him, you know, he would kick him out of the ring and then would hit the Kinshasa on the outside of the ring and then would leave. So, what does this mean? Um, is this going to be like a way for to set up the rematch between these two? Maybe at Backlash coming up? Who knows? But it was a shocking turn of events to see Nakamura do a heelish move. I mean, are they going to turn? Are they turning Nakamura heel? So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens on SmackDown this Tuesday night. And then comes the main event, which was Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns with Lesnar's Universal Championship on the line. And anybody that, that picked Roman Reigns to win, anybody that betted on Roman Reigns to win, lost. And lost big time. Because Brock Lesnar is still the WWE Universal Champion. Uh, it took five or six F5s, a, a lot of German suplexes, um, Reigns getting F5'd through the announce table, uh, Lesnar busted Reigns open with, the, with elbows to the forehead, uh, Reigns did get some offense in. I mean, he nothing to take away from Reigns. He hit four spears, he had a couple of Superman punches, but Lesnar, in the end, I believe it was seven F five, and that seventh one finished off Reigns. And I mean, I was wrong about this matchup. I thought Reigns was going to walk out victorious, but. For some reason, they decided to keep the belt on Lesnar. Did they resign him? Did they? I don't know if they. It was because they re, if they resigned him, and that's why they put they kept the belt on him. I don't know, but Lesnar is still the WWE Universal Champion. Um, so that was pretty much it for WrestleMania. Uh, my overall thoughts was. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there were some good moments about this about this year's WrestleMania, but there were some not so good moments, especially in that main event. I thought Reigns was going to be champion, but I was wrong. But uh, there was a lot of good matches. Overall, not a bad WrestleMania. Uh, very solid, you know, solid WrestleMania show. Um, so, with that being said, if you guys watched WrestleMania 34, uh, what did you guys think of it? Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Um, and now we have to look forward to the Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania to see what kind of surprises um, or if anything happens tomorrow night on Raw as well as this Tuesday night on SmackDown. So, with that being said, uh, this has been my review of what took place tonight at WrestleMania 34. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.